time, and in Melbourne that means one thing, Spring Racing Carnival. Now the girls will be looking fantastic, but like me, most guys have no idea about the fashion trends this year. We're here to help at City Search, we're going to show you the do's and don'ts of this year's Spring Carnival. Here to help us is Don from Raoul of Brighton. Don, how are you going? I'm good, thanks. Good, should we get suited up? Yeah, come this way. So Don, what have you got me decked out in? Well, today we've uh, decided to put you in a black single-breasted two-button suit. And you can notice that it's a little bit narrower across the shoulder than it has been in the past, a bit narrower through the lapel and a slim-fitting trouser. Okay, now the black suit's very classic. What's the best race to wear this to? Well, Derby Day is probably the best day to go to. It's a serious black and white day. You'll see a lot of black and white, but just add a splash of colour and that'll separate you from the crowd. And this top pocket, what's this for? Well, it just adds a little bit of detail to the suit. You don't often see them around town, but on an event like the Spring Racing Carnival, you want to stand out a little bit different to everybody else. One of the best accessories you can use on race day would be a nice Panama hat, and always wear it just slightly tilted to the side and a little bit forward. So Don, are there alternative options for guys who don't really want to wear the traditional suit? Yeah, uh, you can go for a tailored jacket or a sports coat, which is what we've got you dressed in right now. We've gone for contrast with the trousers, but uh, if you're wearing a jacket and trouser as opposed to a suit, you tend to stand out a little bit as well. We've also picked up on the traditional flower, flower for Cup Day, which is the yellow rose. Okay, and there, are there any fashion faux pas that we should steer completely clear of? Yeah, I've got a few. Uh, firstly, if you've got sunglasses which you bought to wear to the beach, you cannot wear them to the races. They'll never look good with a suit. Also, I don't care how new you your runners are, you can't wear runners with a suit either. Don, I really like what I've got on here, the lighter coloured suit. Yeah, at the Spring Racing Carnival, you'll see a lot of people are wearing a lighter colour suit. It's not so much a work suit, a business suit. There'll be a lot of grey, silver grey, Pinstripe also makes it stand out a bit and uh, you'll see some beiges and uh, some, also some different fabrications out there, some lighter weights for spring. So Don, have you got any tips for all the guys out there who want to look really sharp on race day? Yeah, the first tip would be to make sure you've planned your uh, outfit well in advance. Get down to stores early, uh, buy up big, but when you get home make sure you've tried it all on, it's been altered, it fits you really well. Another tip for race day when you're getting dressed is to make sure you've only done up the top button of your suit. Don't do them all up and also when you've ironed your shirt, when you put it on, make sure you tuck it in. An untucked shirt's very scruffy and doesn't fly at the races. Also when you get to the track, make sure you've polished your shoes and they also match your belt. It's a proper way to dress. Grooming on race day is also very important. You can try and grow a beard, but uh, if you can't, make sure you're clean shaven, you've trimmed your sideburns and you've got your hair sorted. Now Don, the final tip for race day is to make sure you pace yourself. It's a very long day and you won't impress the ladies if you're stumbling everywhere and ruining your brand new suit. So I, I definitely think I'll take this. This looks oh. good. Well, it's good to have you out here. We love dressing up people, getting them ready for race day. Now, one last thing, how would you like to pay? Pay? Thank you.